Hi friends, welcome to my ranch. We are here whipping up an amazing cookout pot roast, which will be great for your 4th of July. So we're starting with our chuck roast. I'm just putting it onto a foil baking pan and just making it kind of easy so that I can actually put some seasoning on it. For this seasoning, it's actually gonna be really simple. I'm just gonna be putting a little bit of salt and pepper on this. You can't go wrong with a little bit of salt and pepper. And make sure you go up from high so you can really season everything without using too much all at one time. I'm also gonna take some of my onions and I chop these up into some big pieces. Feel free, you can dice these if you would like. It's however you wanna eat it, you do it. That's the beauty of a roast. And then I'm gonna take my favorite ingredient ever, garlic. And I just have some minced garlic and I'm gonna be putting that down. You can use cloves, you can keep it however you like. I'm gonna take a little bit of olive oil and just put that right on top so we can mix this in. So now all we wanna do is sear the meat on all sides, giving it that beautiful brown that we're gonna to come to love later on today. I like to use a cast iron skillet. You can use a Dutch oven if you want, it's all up to you, or you can just use foil. There you go, and just a little, we're just gonna saute it a little bit, making sure that we brown every single side. So next we're just gonna add our veggies. I have some carrots, and some potatoes, just dice them up, shred these, do however you wanna do for your bite-sized pieces. I'm just gonna add a little more salt and pepper to taste that suits my taste buds, so you do the same, or you can omit this. And now the fun part. Have some beef broth. You wanna make sure that your broth is at the same level as your veggies and your beef, so that nothing gets dried out. At this point, what we're gonna do is just put either a lid onto your foil pan, your Dutch oven. And what this is doing right now is actually steaming the vegetables and making sure that they're tender, as well as your bits of chuck roast that you have in there. So now if you're doing this on your grill, make sure that you have it at medium high. So you wanna be in the 300 degree range. It's been about two and a half hours. That's all we need right now for this recipe to make sure that everything is nice and tender. So now we're gonna take it out of our grill. Go. And now it's time to start shredding meat and making plates. <laughs> This is so beautiful and tender. When you cook it in chunks like this, it just makes it super easy to shred. Now it's time for the big reveal. Mmm, that's delicious. Mmm. Thank you so much for coming to my ranch. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Have a good one. Ooh. Erica, thank you. To Something different one. this yeah. morning. All right, for this recipe and more, head to today.com slash food.